What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We are jumping back into some road of the show. We did win the division in the 2026 season, so we got the bye during the wild card round. And here we are in the division series where we have to play the Cardinals. So here we go. We're going to jump into this one here and see what we can do with identical record teams here. So, oh boy, here goes nothing. There's my team there. There's the Redbirds. All right. That yeah, right there's a thing of beauty, if I do say so myself. And let's jump into this, shall we? Yes, we know. It's the NLDS. Thank you for the animation. How lovely. Yeah, we'll skip through that. Whoops. I probably should have actually seen what else is going to pop up there. But here we go. Brandon Fott is the man on the mound here to lead off this series. We, uh, yeah, bottom of the second. No score. Nobody out. Nobody on. Matt Waldron on the mound for the Cardinals. He's gonna. He's a knuckleballer with a top speed of 62 miles an hour there, but he also has a 94 mile an hour four seamer 90 on the sinker. That's all he's got. That's quick. First pitch. <laughs> oh man, that is a brutal knuckle curve. Swing and a miss. Makes for an 0 1 count to start the postseason for me here. And we pop up the next pitch, also a knuckle curve on the inner third. And first baseman comes in to make the play on the infield grass, closer to the home plate than anything else. And uh, non productive first out for me here in the bottom of the second. We're going to move on to the bottom of the fourth where it's still a scoreless ball game. Runners on first and second, only one out though. So maybe if I can get a hold of a pitch here, I can get a run across the plate. First pitch of this at bat from Matt Waldron. Ripped and ripped out to left field. Come on, baby. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, left fielder misses it. It's going to be a... No, not a double. Oh, no. They got me. How was nobody covering first base there? What happened? Oh, my gosh. That should have been a run-scoring single. That's insane. Okay, whatever. We come back. It's now the bottom of the sixth. 5-2 to two the score with the Cardinals in the lead. One out, nobody on for me as I'm standing in against Matt Waldron for the third time today. First pitch of this at bat. Oh, got me going after the sinker off the inside corner, and it's a 0-1 oh count to start this at bat. My career hit a 10-27 OPS against the Cardinals, but I'm not doing so great this time around. Oh, what the heck. Where's the check swing on that one? Knuckle curve inside. Would have probably hit me if I wouldn't have tried to swing at that, but man, that's ugly. Oh, and two, the count for me now. And another sinker inside. All three pitches off the inside corner swung on and missed. And uh, that's strikeout number two for Waldron, which seems to be a little low given that knuckle curve. All right, we come back bottom of the seventh. It's a five to four ball game now with St. Louis only ahead by a run. Bases are loaded two away. Let's see what the Cracker Jack has got going on for me today as Carlos Estevez is now on the mound for the Cardinals. He hits 99 on his four seamer, 91 on the slider, 90 on the circle change, only 86 on the 12-6 curve. First pitch is a four seamer on the outside corner at the top of the zone, taken for a strike. Oh, and won the count for me here. Second pitch of the at-bat from Estevez. Come on, big guy. Give me that slider right down the middle. No, sir. Four-seamer instead. Top of the zone. Swung on and missed. It's an 0 and 2 count. You're going to see that slider now low and away, I bet you. Maybe. Maybe. No, sir. Four-seamer in the zone. Got a piece and fouled it away to keep the at-bat and the inning alive. Still an 0 and 2 count for me. So the next two-strike pitch from Estevez. Swing and a miss and a four-seamer on the inner third. Could not catch up to the gas in that at-bat as he strikes me out. There's my second postseason strikeout here. Oof. Moving on. It is now the bottom of the ninth. Two outs, runner on first time. The last chance for the Diamondbacks. I'm standing in one for four on the day, and they're going to intentionally walk me. I don't know if that's quite the best idea with JoJo Romero on the mound, but whatever. Works out for the Redbirds as they take the win here in game number one. It's a 5-4. to four. That's a good close game. We'll take it, I suppose. Not like I have a choice. I'm not going to redo it. 
So, yeah, Cardinals take the win in game number one. We are going to move on to game number two, but we have to go back to the clubhouse to do it. To see their pair of Ks, a single, and an intentional walk in that one. Yeah, thank you for the reward path. Don't care. Let's move on and get into game number two here against the Redbirds. We're still playing in Arizona. Here we go. Got to let the PlayStation loader in. I'm sitting at a perfect, well, somewhat perfect, I guess, a 250. It's a nice even round number there, but only four at-bats so far in the postseason. Nothing too spectacular about that so far. Game number two, though, we get Brian Woo on the mound. I like our odds here. I hate to say it. One out and runners on first and second as I'm coming up to the plate in the bottom of the first. Still a scoreless ball game. I'm batting cleanup today. Nick Prasso on the mound for the Cardinals. He hits 94 on the four seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch. Check swing on the sweeping curve. Come on, man. As you see there, I am a two-time silver slugger winner now. 25 and 26 seasons. I won it. Oh, one pitch now from Prasso. Oh, no, sweeping curve got me way out in front, and it was below the knees to boot. And it's a quick 0-2 hole for me in this at-bat. Come on, I can do better than this. Finally taking one outside the zone as that sweeping curve tailed away. And off the outside corner, 1 and 2 to count for me now. Next pitch. Another changeup. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. There's another strikeout. That's my third one of the postseason now. We come back bottom of the fourth. It's a 1-0 lead for the Cardinals. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day. 1 for 5 on the postseason so far. Let's see what I can do against Nick Frasso in this at-bat. Four-seamer starts the at-bat, but it was below the knees and why I swung at it. I'll never know as we follow it away. And as you see there, I am a two-time MVP now. Next pitch is a changeup off the outside corner at the knees, and that's taken for a ball. One and one the count for me here. Next pitch from Frasso. Four-seamer at the top of the zone, got a piece of it and fouled it off down the right field line. That's going to make for a one and two count now. Next pitch. Outside with a sweeping curve. Two and two the count now. Come on, big guy, put one in the zone. I'm swinging at the ones over the plate, but the, I want it in the zone. Next pitch is a four-seamer inside. That runs the count full, which I did not see coming after that uh, abysmal start to the at-bat. So the payoff pitch from Nick Trasso. Yeah, it's a four-seamer, got a piece of it, and fouled away yet again. We're doing the payoff pitch one more time. Come on, big guy. Fouled off another four-seamer right down the middle of the plate. And we have a third payoff pitch in this at-bat, number eight of the A-B. And I foul off a four-seamer below the knees. I should be standing on first right now, but no, I am swing happy. Looking at pitch number nine of the at-bat now, and he's giving me a steady diet of four-seamers here. The next payoff pitch. Swing and a miss set a change up on the outer third. Had me out in front. So geared up for that fastball, I couldn't swing at anything else, I swear. And, uh, yeah, another strikeout. 0 for 2 day at the plate for me with those pair of Ks next to my name as we come back bottom of the sixth. 3-0 lead for the Cardinals here. Nick Frasso still on the mound, throwing pitch number 85 of his outing. Low and inside with the four-seamer starts this at bat 1 and 0. Oh. I have three career home runs against the Cardinals. Let's try to make that four here, but uh, he's got to put one in the zone to make that happen, I think. Second pitch, goner! I hate to say I called it, but yeah, buddy, we are on the board. It's a 3-1 ball game as I bury that in the left center bleachers there. First home run of the postseason. That's a 416-footer. Not the biggest number I've ever seen there, but uh, we'll take it. It gets us on the board. We come back bottom of the seventh. We're tied at three runs apiece. I'm standing in one for three on the day. Runner on second and two away, and they're giving me the intentional walk. So another case of getting first base for free. Just kind of looking forward to pitching or uh, hitting against Stephen Matz. Cardinals win game number two. What the heck happened there? They blew up in the top half of the ninth there to make a nine to three score for the final. Brian Wu is going to take the lot L on that one, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what it says here once we get through here. And uh, no, loss went on Ian Hamilton out of the bullpen. How about that? And how did somebody get a save in a six-run ball game? That makes no sense at all.
Well, we're going to run back to the clubhouse here and get into game number three of our postseason. This one's going to be in St. Louis. So, all right, blah, blah, blah. Yep, I know my plate discipline took a beating on that one because I swung at a lot of things outside of the zone. But here we go. We're jumping into game number three. My uh, batting average in the postseason is now 286. So, uh, we'll take that. Ah, there's the old Bush Stadium. Yep, 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 yep. Can't skip through it. Come on. There's the flag. Ah, oh, helicopter's going over top. Oh, lovely. All right, let's see what we can do now that I can actually advance through the animations. Come on. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. I've actually sat really close to where that camera angle is from in the actual Bush Stadium. It's really close to that uh, when I was in St. Louis for some Cubs Cardinals games a few weekends back. So here we go. Game number three starter for the Cardinals is Gavin Williams. And uh, let's see what we can do against him. As uh, top of the second, we're in a scoreless ball game. Nobody out, nobody on. Williams on the mound does throw a 98 mile an hour for Seamer, 90 on his circle change. He's only thrown five pitches to get through the first inning. First pitch of this at bat is inside at the knees. 1 0 the count after not swinging at that one. So maybe I'm going to do better here in St. Louis. Let's see. Second pitch of the at bat. Chop to third. That's not going to do the job. Throw to first will be an easy play for the first out in the top of the second. And he's being brutally efficient. Seven pitches is all it's taken him to get the first four outs. We come back top of the fourth, two outs and nobody on. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day, 2 for 8 on the series here. Gavin Williams has now got a pitch count up to 41. He's throwing pitch number 42 to me to start this at bat. And I went swinging out a four-seamer off the inside corner. That was not a slider. So, uh, way behind it, no chance of contact. 0-1 pitch is going to be a circle change inside. Taken for a ball, one and one the count after not swinging at that one, thankfully. Pitch number three is below the knees. I went fishing after a four-seamer on the inner third, and it's fouled off to make a one and two count. The next pitch. Wow, that curveball floated up, up, and away. Two and two the count after not going after that one way above the zone. Next pitch. Went fishing for a four-seamer off the outside corner by quite a bit and somehow made contact and fouled it away. And the count is two and two. Got a piece of a slider on the inner third for the next pitch. And that's going to keep the count at two and two as we fouled it off down the third baseline. Come on, big guy. Give me something good here. Ah, oh, four-seamer in the middle of the zone popped up near the mound. First baseman's running in to make the play. And he comes down with it. That's going to end things here in the top of the fourth. Williams is still uh, scoreless here. Or I should say, he has not allowed any runs. But he has allowed two hits, so he doesn't have a perfect game. However, Diamondbacks pitcher, he's got himself a no-hitter so far through three. We come back top of the seventh. It's still a scoreless ball game here. Runner on first, nobody out. I'm standing in 0 for 2 on the day, 2 for 9 on the series. Gavin Williams on the mound throwing pitch number 87 of his outing. And we foul off a four-seamer in the top of the zone on the inner third. And it's an 0-1 count as that one gets out of play. We do have that runner on first and nobody out here. I'd like to see what we can do. Come on, big guy. Give me something good to swing at here. That's not it. Four-seamer swung on and missed well above the zone. And it's a quick 0-2 count. Oh boy, no pressure. Four seamer low and away, taken for a ball though. There's a finally a one to start off the uh, count. One and two pitch. Gripped and ripped down the left field line, but that one's gonna go foul. Had the distance, just didn't have the right direction. One and two still the count for me now. And I went fishing after a slider off the outside corner. It's another K for me in this one. And that's the fifth strikeout for Williams. We're moving on. It's now bottom of the eighth. one nothing lead for the Redbirds. This is not looking good for the Diamondbacks here. One out and nobody on as Lars Newtbar is standing in. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a walk on his line score. 4 for 12 on the series, though, with a pair of doubles. Let's see what he can do with a payoff pitch here from Hobie Milner. 
Ooh, simple ground balls. This is my first fielding opportunity in the postseason. Throw to first will be in plenty of time as Newt Bar is retired. So he'll be heading back to the dugout there. Top of the ninth, we come back. Two outs, runner on first again. I am the last chance for Arizona in this one. And uh, what are they? They're intentionally walking me again. Come on, you guys. You're killing me here. 0 for 3 day at the plate for me continues as I get first base for free. And the Cardinals sweep us out of the postseason in three games. Oof. Da. I hope they win the World Series after that one because they straight up manhandled us through this one. Final score of game number three is one to nothing as that one run in the bottom of the seventh was enough to get the job done. Oof, that's a rough one, man. <laughs> I hate to say it, I love the Cardinals and all, but I don't like losing to them, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, we're gonna run back to the clubhouse here. And uh, while that one's loading in, that's why this is where I'm gonna remind everybody if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on the video. As, uh, you know, kind of helps me out a little bit with the YouTube algorithm. But that's going to be all she wrote for the 2026 season. So off camera here, I'm going to go through the rest of the off season and post season. And we'll be coming back tomorrow with the first series of the 2027 uh, season. Yeah, words. They're hard right now. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.